hello there everybody and welcome to Tuesday Teaching Tips with Sally and I thought I'd start today with a little bit of music there for you and as you probably recognise that Chopin's Waltz in A Minor, a very popular piece amongst people. I was teaching this yesterday to one of my adult students and um, it reminded me that one of the things I end up saying to people most, especially teachers, is this little phrase that I use that the arm takes the fingers to the notes. Okay, let me just show you what I mean in that piece. So it starts down here on that bottom A, and then you travel all the way up to the A minor chord there. Okay, now the way to do this is, is via the arm. So in slow motion, I play the bottom note, my arm takes my fingers to the notes, and as I travel, they get ready and they drop. And then again, my arm takes the finger to the note. And as the as they move, and look how I'm doing it, I'm always doing it with a, a lovely circular, semicircular motion here. And my fingers get ready in the shape. But what the fingers are not doing is they're not going. And look what's happening to my wrist everything starts to do this and the hand completely goes out of shape and especially that little finger alignment so whenever we play we're aiming as much as possible to keep the alignment from the little finger through to the elbow and as soon as we start doing that you can see we lose that alignment and therefore playing becomes rather tense I have to say if you send your fingers out on an exploratory journey, it's generally not a good thing. The arm has always got to be behind the fingers, and which takes me back to that idea that the arm takes the fingers to the notes. Yeah, it's not the fingers that go out, and then the arm kind of follows on afterwards. The arm is really, really active in this whole process. So let me take it back to give you an example with another piece, and this is actually the Lazy Bear by uh, Noigazimov, okay, it was a lovely piece, um, and it's from his books, his book Piano Sketches, book one, um, and a lot of you are, are becoming very familiar with it, uh, those of you that in the UK are using ABRSM, because it's actually in the grade two syllabus this particular time, and Lazy Bear, here it is for those of you that don't know it, a little bit of it anyhow. And, and roughness there, like roughness there. Um, so let's look at that left hand, shall we, which has obviously got the melody and this idea of the arm taking the fingers to the note. So we've got that first little bit, it's a staccato. So you're going to come up and the arm will take the thumb and then the next one. And it's all happening up here. And my arm literally takes my finger to that note, to that note. Just show you the next bit because this really highlights it. Off there, off, and then look how my hand, my arm, my fingers have gone into that lovely neutral position. I'll talk more about that in a minute. I'm going to go on to the G sharp and then the B and then the E. Look, my fingers didn't do a thing, they didn't change from that position. Instead, my arm took my fingers to the note, and that is such a lovely. <coughs> releasing kind of way um, of, of playing that we should be doing it all the time. The arms are responsible for this horizontal movement. The, the fingers that do that, the fingers can do the vertical. So for example, playing scales and something I'll get all my students to do is to be aware of the horizontal movement from the arms yeah, and the vertical movement from the fingers. So you don't get any of that sort of twisting. So if you've got a pupil who's playing scales with that thumb twisting, think about how you get them moving horizontally across the piano and then coming down. So it's pushing, pulling up and pulling down. Just very briefly then about that neutral hand position. So this is what I would call something like this, a neutral hand position. And that is your default position whenever possible. You want to see if you can get your pupils to keep your, your their hands like this. So when they're playing, 
as I say, I come off the E and my arm takes that thumb there, my hand is in neutral, comes off again. can feel instantly if you try that out you can feel that tremendous tension so one thing you might do with your pupils if they're doing that is just to get them to play the, the opening five notes off and just stay there that's quite a feat in itself sometimes and off now they have to look and know where they're going they're going to that note so the eye is there and now take the arm and the finger to the note Look at the next note, what is it? Take the finger to it. And again, look at it first. Look at it first. So this is in charge. This tells the eyes, the eyes, and what? This also tells the arm. But you just do it slow motion, getting them to make sure that they have seen the note they're going to before they actually take the arm and the finger to it. So a little bit different today, a bit of a technical tip for you going on there. Um, technical tip number one, I shall be back with more uh, probably next Tuesday, but thank you for all the likes that are coming up. Thank you so much, keep them coming. It's good to see that lots of people are watching. And um, that idea of the arm takes the finger to the note. Fingers don't go out on solo expeditions. Yes, they're always followed by everything else. The other thing I mentioned was the alignment. I might have more on that another time. Thank you all so much for coming along. Let's see who I've got there. Ah, oh, Denise. Um, Denise, yay, hey. Denise and Jill's there as well, and Sharon's there. Welcome, Sharon. And Lou is there as well. Lovely. Hope you all have a really lovely day of teaching wherever you are in the world. And um, hope to see you again next week. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. <laughs>